Hey guys, this is Fabrizio Romano and this is Shirt Shopping. Here we go. Hello and welcome to Shirt Shopping, the series in which myself and a guest go shopping around classic football shirts. They get £500 to spend. We're here today in their London store. They also have a store in Manchester and you also get tens of thousands of items online at classicfootballshirts.co.uk. And also if you use the code AWAYDAYS at checkout, you can get 10% off every item on site, whether it's a £20 item or a £2,000 item. My discount code will get you 10% off on the website. You can also win a £50 voucher to use on Classic Football Shirts. All you have to do is comment what you thought our guest's best purchase was and like this video and subscribe to the channel too. Speaking of today's guest, it's a very, very special episode to kick off 2024. Let's meet them. Fabrizio, welcome to Shirt Shopping. Thank you. How thank are you, you doing? We're here in London. Oh, Five great. Time to spend. Congrats. It's incredible, really. It's, so it's I love a beautiful it. store, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. I can't take the credit for it. Um, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just. It's basically my second home. I should pay rent at this point. I'm here okay. all the time. <laughs> the way this place is very simple. You get five hundred pounds to spend on football shirts. I pay for them for you. Okay. Are you? Have you got many football shirts? I have many, really. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love football shirts from my friends, players. So I like it. Do you, get, be nice one. do you get many match worn shirts? Yeah, ninety percent is match worn. Yeah, we might we might need to talk after. Yeah. This. <laughs> <laughs> My obsession is match worn. We're gonna have to go on the store. Let's get into it. Let's go. Here we go. <laughs> Sorry, you must get. Are you sick of that phrase? Do you get sick? No, sick no. <laughs> but uh, of course, I keep hearing that every day. <laughs> Let's start with some jackets. Are you a fan of more like modern design or like... Modern. I'm a big modern. fan of modern. Yeah. yeah. For example, this one from Arsenal, in my opinion, is wonderful. I'm a big fan of Arsenal style. Yes, they're an Adidas really like art. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big fan. Yeah. Big, big fan. Oh, nice one, this one from LA Galaxy. Yeah. So like in, in regards to, say we've got the classic stuff, we've got, look at this for like a... Yeah, uh, this, I'm from Napoli, you know? Are you? Are you I'm uh, from Napoli. I live in Milan, but I'm from Napoli. My city is from Napoli. As my family is from Napoli, my my family is still there. So Napoli is always part of my heart. This one is Maradona for us. So did you grow up being a um, a big Napoli fan or not? Boyhood? No, 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 no. It was not just a big fan, but I spent my first 18 years in Napoli. So my life was was with Napoli fans around me. So. Yeah. What was it like? growing? I imagine it was crazy. No, the depression is absolutely crazy, and I was growing there in difficult moments for Napoli. They were like in third division, then in second division. Yeah. was the most complicated moment after Maradona, way after Maradona. And uh, they started to improve, to develop, to restart their project, and then they ended up winning the Scudetto last season. The passion there has always been insane. Even in third division, it was always full stadium. The yeah. passion is insane in Napoli, really. That's fair. Do you, just speaking about your childhood quickly as well, do you have any players yeah. that stood out to you when you were growing up, like your favourite players? Look, uh, at Napoli, you mean? Uh, just in general, in football as a whole. Bah, I have many, many. I am I'm a centre-back when I play on five side with my friends. Okay. So I've always been attracted by passionate centre-backs. Like here in England, for me, Rio Ferdinand was always one of my favourites. Yeah. That kind of leadership was always my my big attraction. And uh, and also in modern football players like Sergio Ramos and, and many others. When I mentioned when I was younger, for me, the Italian centre-back was always the, the model. Okay. So like Fabio Cannavaro, Marco Materazzi, that kind of Italian passion. Uh, centre back for me was always the big, uh, the big model, and then obviously the big players, the super big names. When when I was a kid, Ronaldinho was always the, the number okay. one. Yeah, uh, Chiellini. He was on this. The last oh, episode. Giorgio. The last episode Legends. before you was he was on this series. I he saw, I saw, I saw. I was following you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I appreciated his his ideas, but Giorgio is fantastic. Really. He's crazy, but in the best way possible. Like yeah. great craziness. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, Let's keep going. I'll let you keep yeah. flicking through. Being an Italian as well and Viali and going back to the Euro victory, what was it like experiencing Italy winning something? Obviously being English we never win anything, so... No, <laughs> you know, it was completely unexpected. Yeah. This is the best feeling from that Euro. So we were expecting, okay, we will go there, we will try to compete, but we were not even expecting to get to the quarter-finals or yeah. semi-finals. Then you go and go and go and you go to the final, Wembley against England and you win. Unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, I was there that day. And yeah. I just left and it was raining outside Wembley and the fireworks were going off and I was like, oh, Euros, winners, Italy. And I was like, oh, it's just one day we will win something. One you day, will. We, I think next summer. You value with Bellingham. Think so. As long as Bellingham doesn't get injured. I we'll think see. next summer is going to be your, your year. You heard it at first. Yeah, it's remember. Coming home. Yeah. You went to the London club section, which is actually something which I think is quite interesting to you. Am I right in believing you're a Watford fan? Yeah, I am. How did how did that come about? Like, it's just I am, also, I 
Ah, oh, wow, yeah, this is wonderful, eh? This is wonderful. <laughs> my gosh, love it. I love it, I love it. Do you want me to keep really? it on my arm for now? Potentially try it on later? I think yes. I think yes. This is one to watch, I think. Let's keep it there. Where did yeah, you, yeah, how did you become a Watford fan? And after that, Troy Dini. Really, that goal, moment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That moment, and also because the Italian ownership, yes. you know, the Pozzo family. So for me, it was kind of connection with yeah. English football when I was younger, when I was not, not even a journalist or, or so. And yeah. so I had that kind of connection. And then I remember the first time I had been at, at Vicarage, for me, was really special. Small stadium, but with great energy. Yeah. A typical English stadium. And this is, was completely new for me. Okay. And so I remember the feeling I had first time there was, was insane. So is there any other stadiums in England that really stand out to you of being like really many, cool? Really? Many, many. My favorite is Crystal Palace. My great teams, atmosphere. Yeah, atmosphere is insane. Get also up. Craven Cottage, many. Yeah, I like the traditional old style stadium. Ellen Road. Nah, the yeah. with, <laughs> I've never with, been there. The problem with Ellen Road, it's, it's, it needs updating. I've it's, never it needs been there. refreshing. I've never been um, there. I will be there. This be one there as well. One. This one is nice, this one is nice. I, yeah. I mean, it's an XL though. Imagine... Too, many, too many what for shares, that's why. <laughs> At the moment, I will, I will wait. You said about your match worn shirts actually. Who, yeah. Which players are your most notable match worn shirt? Which do you have? Haaland. Yeah, that's Borussia there. Dortmund. <laughs> Yeah, I have That's crazy. Some. Yeah, 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 I have some. Uh, Buffon also with Parma. Too many, you know, I have too many shirts. But yes, for me, it's not just about how big is the player. No, it's about the... But it's also about the friend, you know, the yeah. moment, maybe. Yeah. Uh, I also got one from, from for example, uh, Kukureya after the Chelsea Dortmund game here okay. in London, in the Champions cool. League game. It was special because that transfer Kukureya for me was really special. And so <laughs> to get the shirt was, was a special feeling. Was that the transfer where you and... Brighton's Twitter yeah, account had a bit yeah. of a back and forth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why for me it was really special to get the shirt from Mark, was a great moment. You you won that debate as well, like they tried claiming yeah. and then you were like, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. he is joining them. We will them. see who lied. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a great that was line. the tweet. <laughs> yeah, it was a nice one. Is there any other transfers that really stand out to you that you've worked on that were like <sighs> crazy and then you were like, just I imagine the back and forth on some of them like, some of them, this. I imagine it was the Mudrik of Chelsea and Arsenal back and forth, who's going to get him? That was crazy, yeah. yeah. But my, my favourite in position number one is the, as a manager transfer. When okay. Thomas Tuchel joined Bayern uh, and Nagelsmann was fired, yeah. it was completely unexpected. Bayern were top of the league in Bundesliga, mm. were doing great in the Champions League in March. And out of nowhere, it was international break, I got a call and they told me, look, Tuchel in, Nagelsmann out. And they said, OK, let's speak about that tomorrow. Maybe you mean for the summer, I don't trust. Yeah. And no, no, they told me, no, trust me, now, it's happening tonight. And I said, okay, what is this? They are doing fantastic. So imagine, it's like they tell you tomorrow Ancelotti out and another manager in, you can't understand that. Mm. Or Pep, it was yeah. that level, Nagasman at the moment. And they decided to change, and so I was really shocked. I still remember the two hours I took to work on that news to check with my sources was incredible. Then the feeling when it was official was super special. It must be weird, like when you get your phone, I imagine the amount of contacts on your phone <laughs> must be ridiculous. Yeah. But like, I imagine the calls you get and it's just like, you, just, you must get calls all the time. Like, yeah, it must be yeah. hectic, especially yeah, in yeah, January yeah. and the summer. It is, it's crazy, it's crazy. In some moments you, you get a lot of messages, a lot of calls. And also, you know, the biggest news I received in my life were always from the small people, not from the super big names. Really? You can imagine it could be from the president of this club or the director, but they always try to protect their clubs, so maybe yeah. they help on something else. But then the big news are always coming from small people. Okay. This is my, my law, because yeah. they always want to, to give you something, no? Yeah, of course. That's why. So <laughs> I always have to keep the relationship with all the people, not just with the big ones, but also with someone who is maybe not at super level. All the contacts. There. Yeah, always, always together. Yeah. I think I will go with Leo Messi. Yeah, I will go really traditional way and I will go with Leo Messi because I don't have one from Inter Miami. No. No. Have you ever been in the same room as Messi this before? One is nice. No, with Messi, no. With Cristiano, yes. With Messi, no, with Messi, yes. On the pitch. In a, it was in Riyadh last January. Okay, yeah. There was the Messi Ronaldo game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was on the pitch. So I was That's next so to cool. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not same room. Do you same ever get pitch. like just pinch yourself when you're like, are oh, you so numb to it now? Because no, you are, no. you're, you're almost, you're more famous than some football clubs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but it still feels incredible yeah. to me, you know? I'm a big football fan. This yeah. is the secret, probably. Okay. To be always there, to be always pushing, to be always loving what you do. Yeah. And so, yes, in those moments, it still feels very special. Do you remember, like, obviously, because you know, what, what I'm going to ask basically what inspired you to become a journalist and what you're doing, because, like, you know, like how young footballers, they grow up and they're like, oh, I looked up to 
Excellent. Did you ever look up to any journalists? Like, did you have like Jim White? Posters? Yeah, yeah. For example, in Italy, we had in Sky Italy that was the new model to do the transfer market. No? Yeah. So it was something completely new. So for me, the dream was always to get to Sky Italy and to do something with them. Yeah. And I had the chance to do that when I was like 19, so really early in my my career. Yeah, yeah. And it really helped me because there were some legendary journalists there. And for me, the model was always there. Okay. It was always in Sky Italy. Yes, yes, yes. I was always on on TV checking the transfer news, and so my dream was there. Deadline day in the UK was such a huge thing. Not so much anymore, I think, yeah. I guess, because the whole month is so crazy now. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But in the UK, we had Jim White was like the original guy with the I yellow remember, tie. I remember, I remember, I remember. The clock that. is ticking. Yeah. <laughs> the clock is ticking was like maybe the original catchphrase. Yeah. But the clock is ticking, Terry. Like, on deadline day, do you get any sleep at all? It's very difficult. <laughs> it's like two, three hours, from 5 a.m. to 8, something like that. Yeah, no yeah. more than this. No, you can't. Also because you start dreaming about transfers, <laughs> you start having nightmares that something is happening and you're sleeping. No, it's impossible. But in general, the final week of August is really impossible for me to sleep. Okay. It's really complicated. Is January a bit easier or is it still really? It's a bit, e bit easier. It always depends. In a transfer market, you can never know because yeah. you can say, okay, it's easier than you have Enzo Fernandez in the final 24 hours. And so <laughs> it's not that easy. But in general, it's easier because usually in January, you know what the clubs want to do, yeah. you know? you can understand, okay, they need a midfielder, they need a striker, they need a centre-back, so it's easier also to get the news, to get the information. Yeah. In the summer, it's really open, especially at the beginning of the summer, with the free agents, they can go anywhere. So you yeah, have to be course. ready, you have to check every single day, is the most up moment of the, of the year. Then, obviously, the final week of August is crazy. That's fair, let's keep going around, let's go towards let's go. the world clubs over here. <laughs> Do you get time? Do you have them? Do you play any games now, like Football Manager, or FIFA? Or do you have yeah, time? Yeah, both Football Manager and and FIFA. Always the AFC. Yeah. I'm always playing. Always. I, I love Football of... Manager so much. Yeah. It's such a. It's so addictive as well. That's the yeah. problem. Yeah, and I play Career Mode on on the AFC because oh, okay, obviously yeah. I can't play Ultimate Team. No time to do that. Yeah, of course. But Career Mode, yes. For me, it's Jump important in and out. also to check the young talents, <laughs> and then maybe I go and text them on Instagram. So you know, it's kind of scouting for me. Also. <laughs> this this shirt to me, I I love. This is like. So 90s. Ah, I remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. R9? Yeah. I like that logo also. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's amazing it that like nice the current generation of football fans don't understand or, don't, or appreciate just how good Ronaldo R9 it's was. It's true, it's true, it's true. Phenomenal. Um, imagine I was based in Milan, so for Inter he was more than a player. Yeah, he was yeah. a symbol. So I, I remember Ronaldo when I started following football because at the end it was like I was like seven, eight. So that's when I started and I remember Ronaldo doing incredible things for Inter. So <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. I think Ronaldo is in the top three. Yeah. The best players ever, probably. Apart yes. from Maradona, for me, Maradona is another Ma planet. Maradona number one? For Maradona is another planet. And then there are the others. That's my point of view. <laughs> it makes you it makes you able to avoid the Messi Ronaldo question. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also. <laughs> I'm from Napoli, so for me Maradona is like God. Oh, okay. Like, what well, exactly? One, huh? There we go. Yeah, that is I think yes. You want me to get it down? I think the solution is this one, yeah. I'll be back in one second, don't you worry. Thank you. This one is fantastic. My budget is over. That's fine, that's <laughs> fine. We can hold it for now. It's over, I need financial fair play now. We need settlement <laughs> agreement. Yeah, get, get, get Todd Bowley on the case. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see the Brazil shirts, huh? Oh, yeah. I'll go crazy with Brazil. Oh, just, that was just that this one is uh, just yeah. unbelievable. Like Fantastic. how it says like no, no, no. the Umbro, it, oh, it's phenomenal. No, no, incredible. <laughs> I remember also this one, Mamma Mia. I had one of these ones, this. I remember, that, Adriano. That's, that's of, uh, Adriano. I remember Adriano. With the this the 99 shot power, yeah, yeah, Peso yeah. 6. Oh, it was incredible. <laughs> That, that Brazil, I remember they were playing with five up front. It was like Far Adriano, Kaká, Ronaldo, Ronaldinho, all together. Yeah, no, it was insane. So you, um, just earlier, you touched on quickly as well, like you think England could win the Euros next year? I think yes. Do you think finally, do you, you obviously, it's interesting because obviously you, you felt it full on being Italian for the Euros, like yeah. these, the it's coming home chant. Do you? It's not positive in my opinion. No, 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 do you not like it? No, I like it, but as an Italian, I would never do it. Do you think it comes across as arrogant? Yeah. Because this is the thing. As it, an Italian, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They see it's actually the the song's sarcastic. Yeah. So yeah. we're like we're rubbish. I but know, I get why people think it's arrogant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and then yeah, it said yeah, it came yeah. Rome. So. No, that's, yeah, yeah. exactly. No, as an Italian, I would never say we're gonna win. You no, know? never. And never. the thing is, of English people as well, like. <laughs> 
every tournament we go into, I'm I, in 2010 we went to the World Cup with Heskey yeah. and stuff like that, and I was like, we could win this, you know. <laughs> and it's like, there's no logic to that yeah, at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we, now the team is fantastic. I think also having Gary Kane leaving, going to Bayern, yeah. is helping also to that something different. Jude Bellingham, obviously, but also all the others. Bukayo Saka is now one of the best players in the world. Yes. So I think the world team is really, really strong. If only Musiala, we could have got Musiala as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one just stood out to me as well. Wimbledon. Before they nice. became MK Dons. I used to then... play with them on, on Football Manager. Yeah, yeah, when they because the One sponsorship. Of my yeah, 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 exactly. Do you have any do you nice. remember like your favourite any cult heroes you've had on Football Manager that stand out to you at all? My favourite the club you mean? Or my, like or my yeah, favourite yeah. club has been Swindon Town. Swindon Town? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have an incredible legacy with the club. Really? Always starting from the bottom and trying to dream for, for twenty or thirty years. <laughs> that was my mission, always. They obviously they had Paolo Di Canio as manager at some point yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also no, incredible, incredible <laughs> club, incredible club. And uh, and I still remember one save I started from Italian side, the Lucchese, it's a very small side. Okay. Then moving to Fiorentina, then moving to Inter, then moving to Manchester City. <laughs> and I still remember I was going crazy because with Man City, it was not the same Man City as of today. So it yeah. was different kind of project. I started having like too many players in different clubs on loan. So we started creating a galaxy of clubs and I was controlling like five clubs at the same moment. So I was going crazy. I said, okay, you became Man City what they are now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but with one person managing five <laughs> yeah. clubs. It's a big, big January coming up. Do you have any predictions for what like might be the biggest rumor or the biggest story? going? No, I think January? something is going to be something between Chelsea and my United. Really? Yeah, because they need to do something. I think my United can do like two signings, one or two signings. Chelsea are going to do two or three signings. So I think it will be a creative window as always with some surprises, with some big movements as always, because at the end something big will always happen. And I think Chelsea and my United will be very, very active. You have to have like an encyclopedic knowledge of every club pretty much. Like, like That's just... what I try to do, yeah. So can I be selfish and ask you, will, <laughs> will lead, is, are Leeds going to be able to keep most of our players? I think it, most, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, Nyonto might go, but that's because... I think Nyonto could live, yeah. But that's because he's not playing, so yeah. like, fair. Yeah, and he also wanted to leave in the summer, then he ended up staying, not playing, so in this kind of cases, you always find a solution with the club. Yeah. As long as Somerville and Rutter stay, yeah. it's all good. Yeah. It's all good. <laughs> I'll let you keep going. This, this, this is, this, he was my favourite player growing up, Ross McCormack. Yeah. Yeah, Ross one. McCormack. No one else one. will ever talk about Ross McCormack on this <laughs> series ever <laughs> again. <laughs> are you big into fashion at all? Like, are you, um... No, for me, fashion is this. <laughs> That's perfect. That's... <laughs> yeah. We could be friends. Uh, Ruth van Nistelrooy. Look, this kind of shirt for me is wonderful. Yes. The orange in, from the Dutch national team is super special. Top layer. I remember him winning La Liga for Real Madrid with Fabio Capello as a manager. On a fi it was the final match in La Liga with Barcelona playing away, Real Madrid playing home. First half it was Barcelona winning, Real Madrid drawing, then Ruth van Nistelrooy won the game in the second half and La Liga won the and Real Madrid won La Liga. Thanks to Ruth van Nistelrooy. Crazy. Special player. Great player. It'd be, it'd be, La Liga's fun this season as well. Girona could cause yeah, like a massive upset. No, 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 it's a great league. Aston Villa in England could cause an upset, yeah. you never know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's a great league. Really. Listen, they're not going to win the league. You know, I think we, they're not going to win the league. I'm sorry, Villa fans. <laughs> You're just not going to win the league. It's amazing. But this one, this one always stands out to me here as well. This is a Guardiola Brescia Ooh. shirt. Do you remember? Uh, this is a, this is an important shirt. Eh? Yeah. Wow. Oh, I remember very well those times. Carlo Mazzone as a manager. Uh, he was in, he passed away a couple of months ago, and for Pep, he was like legend of his life. So okay. Special one, of course. Roberto Baggio and many others yes. playing at Brescia the, those years. So. Do it. Do Italians nice like? Shirt. I would pick this shirt probably, yeah. Do you want me to put it on my arm just in case? I think yes. Yes. So obviously we yes. English fans and Italian fans have something sort of similar. Like we had Paul Gascoigne who was our best player yeah. and he let us down. So I let us down, you know, I mean, obviously Baggio missed the penalty as well. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But we yeah. still... You still love them. We worship Paul Gascoigne. Yeah, yeah. Do Italians worship Baggio still? Of course, yeah. of course. Baggio, part of them that the penalty, but in general, Roberto Baggio has been like the Italian number 10, you know? Yeah. Like we had Totti, we had Del Piero, we had many. But alongside them, Roberto Baggio has been a proper legend of the game. And so he also played for Inter, Juventus, AC Milan, Fiorentina and many others. So he shared this passion around Italy, yeah. not just for one club like Totti and Del Piero, but you had the opportunity to enjoy him in different clubs. Okay. So love for Roberto Baggio remains absolutely super for Italian, for Italian fans, 100%. Nice, I'll let yeah. you keep looking at that. One more shirt I want to find to show you. Yeah. There it is. What are, you, what are your thoughts on this shirt? <laughs> nice, confused one, but nice. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I designed it. Yeah. 
Yeah. And it's not... Ah, it, really? It, I thought it would be nicer than it was. I like, like it. No, no, but I like it. I like it. Don't do like this. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. Yeah. I see you like confusion. I'm more for one color. Yeah. You know? Yeah, so oh, it's about your style. So no, the problem was right. No, it's not. Yeah. No problem. It's a nice. I one. tried to because I love Leeds <laughs> and I love FC Porto. So I tried to okay. fuse the two. Okay. They don't fuse basically. Okay. So Thanks. you're a Porto fan? Portista, yeah. 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 Well, I didn't know that. Um, I knew about Leeds, but not about Porto. I love. It's just they're so passionate and like it's nice to have a team in Europe yeah. when your own team is never going to be in Europe. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, yeah. I've been there, you know, Porto. I was there for stadium. the Champions League game. Amazing city, amazing stadium, amazing uh, atmosphere. Did you try a Francesino? The, uh, of course, oh, of course I did. Don't get me started. No, uh, no, 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 love no, of my life. But it was wonderful. Yeah, right. These four shirts, Yeah. can we get you to try them on? I think yes. Let's do like this. Oh, we go, yeah. You can see the big name. Fantastic. Yeah, that My is, favorite probably. That is perfect. One day I want to see you in La Bombonera with that shirt on. I will. You have my yeah. word. Let's go with Pep. It's special because it's Brescia reminds me of the old times of the Italian football and of Pep Guardiola, of course. <laughs> this one will stay here. <laughs> I think I will go with the others. No, but it's nice. Eh? it's nice. I like it. I like it. But I have to go with a different budget. Yeah. But yeah. always what for fun. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Good luck, Capes. Yeah. Good luck, Capes. Right, so we need to whittle these down. Yeah. So Boca Juniors. Boca priority. Juniors. Um, Guardiola is. Are we still in the budget? 99, so that's 450, and the Messi is 109.99. So you would be like 60 pounds over. That's, I'll cover it, it's fine. Yeah, it's good. you you're sure? Good. Yeah, we can do good. a settlement agreement. Yeah, like settlement well. agreement, well, let's do it. undisclosed. Yeah, <laughs> good. Well, let's Thank get you. these checked out. Perfect. And then we'll finish. Ready. Let me just get these checked out for you. Here we go. Come on. Amazing shirts, you've smashed it. The Boca Juniors shirt as well. Oh. I'm very happy, honestly, with my choices. I'm very happy with this place because it's like Disneyland to me. And so it was a real pleasure. I'm very happy with the shirts I picked. And also, there you go, take the bag, take the bag as well. But Thank also, you. Anyone can win a 50 pound voucher for classic football shirts yourself. So you have to do is comment what you thought Fabrizio's best pick was. With every guest that comes on the series, I ask them who they would love yeah. to see come on this series as well. It can be anyone in the world. It doesn't have to be realistic. Mm. We, we, I know my limits. Erling Haaland. Okay. Erling, if you're watching this, he's <laughs> <laughs> if Erling's agent is watching this, <laughs> Erling's father, probably. Yes, if Erling's father Alfie. is watching this, march yeah. on together, Alfie. Yeah, yeah. I've been Alex. Make sure to subscribe for more football show content and more away days. Fabrizio, so huge thanks for coming on. Thank you. Good luck for a here we go. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Good luck for a hectic January. Yeah. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Bye.